Welcome to the Liquidity Finder tutorial. The Liquidity Finder is priced at $66 per month, $160 for 3 months, $320 for 6 months, or $640 for the whole year. The Liquidity Finder is only available for rent. This unique rental model allows traders to leverage our products to their full potential at a fraction of the cost. Our indicators are priced at a premium, reflecting years of dedicated development and research in their creation. We firmly believe in our indicators, which is why we regularly upload content to our YouTube channel demonstrating how our indicators perform in live market conditions. When you purchase our indicators, we encourage you to leave a review and share your feedback or suggestions for improvements on our blog post by clicking the link in the description. Now let's start with the tutorial. The Liquidity Finder provides clarity in the movement of price for any financial instrument, including currency pairs, cryptocurrencies, indices, and commodities. The Liquidity Finder pinpoints where price is consolidating, retracing, resisting, or settled in areas of support presently and historically. To begin, click on each time frame to ensure that your broker's data is synchronized across all time frames. Click on Insert Indicators, Custom, then Liquidity Finder. Now you can see your settings window. The interval count specifies the number of periods you wish to view within the selected time frame M5, M15, M30, H1, and H4. Select time frames. You have the option to view different interval periods across five time frames, including day, week, and month. Panel left or right allows you to move the indicator to either the left or right side of the chart. Update chart is set at 5 seconds, which means the data displayed on the liquidity finder is delayed by 5 seconds. This can be changed to 1 second if you wish to see the changes in data in real time. Tally price separation must be manually entered for all time frames. It's important to note that the price separation values differ depending on the financial instrument. You can locate the numerical price separation values for all trading pairs and financial instruments on our blog post. If you're unable to find the price separation for your trading pair or financial instrument, please raise a question in the comment section of the blog post and we'll promptly provide assistance. You can choose to hide the timeframes that you don't wish to see while trading by simply changing the setting to false. It is advisable to keep only the M5 timeframe visible during trading, as it accurately depicts when the price is nearing liquidity zones in real time. The indicator window width and height are preset, but you can adjust the dimensions of the indicator in increments of 50 to ensure that all data is clearly visible. Changing the dimensions is necessary if you're viewing data for two weeks or more. You can keep the remaining settings as default. They will not affect the indicator's performance. Blue numerical values mean bullish momentum, which indicates a surplus of buyers and shortage of sellers, pushing the price up from the corresponding price level. Red numerical values mean bearish momentum, which indicates a surplus of sellers and shortage of buyers, pushing the price down from the corresponding price level. Black numerical values mean neutral momentum, which indicates an equal amount of buyers and sellers at the corresponding price level. A higher tally count indicates greater liquidity, indicating a greater probability of price to reverse or retrace and break through. If you observe a higher tally count associated with a specific price point, with the numerical value shown in red, it suggests that selling pressure may emerge from that price region. Conversely, if the numerical value is displayed in blue, it indicates potential for price to retrace and push upwards from that region.
The highlighter system operates differently for each time frame. The highlighter for the M5 time frame accurately depicts when the price is nearing liquidity zones in real time. However, for time frames ranging from M15 to H4, updates occur only when the algorithm identifies the formation of a new tally, typically within the corresponding time frame. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frame M5, M15, and M30 to daily, and the H1 and H4 to daily. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current day across time frames M5 to M30 and for time frames H1 and H4. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frame M5, M15, and M30 to daily, and the H1 and H4 to weekly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current day across time frames M5 to M30 and for the current week for time frames H1 and H4. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Change the interval count at 1. Set the select time frames M5, M15 and M30 to weekly and the H1 and H4 to weekly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current week across all time frames. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Change the interval count at 2. Set the select time frames M5, M15, and M30 to weekly, and the H1 and H4 to weekly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current week and last week across all time frames. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Change the interval count to 1. Set the select time frames M5, M15, and M30 to monthly and the H1 and H4 to monthly. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current month across all time frames. This configuration is recommended for conducting chart analysis. Keep the interval count at 1. Set the select time frames M5, M15, and M30 to daily and change show H1 and show H4 to false. This configuration allows you to view liquidity zones for the current day across time frames M5 to M30. This configuration is recommended for day trading. We have intentionally maintained a minimalist interface and design to ensure that users can swiftly process incoming data and make prompt trading decisions when necessary. To determine the most effective interface, we conducted trials with 20 traders, timing their trade executions and the time taken to comprehend the incoming data. Based on the unanimous decision and feedback from the traders, we opted for this minimal design choice, which proved to be the most effective in performance and user satisfaction. By clicking Save CSV, you will trigger the indicator to save the data displayed on the Liquidity Finder as a CSV document. This enables you to revert back to the document later for chart analysis, serving as an effective method for chart analysis and collecting historical data for your trading pair. Additionally, the indicator automatically saves a CSV file when you load the indicator or make any changes in the settings. To access the saved CSV documents in Apple Mac OS, click Go on the top right of your drop-down menu. Hold down the Option tab on your keyboard. Select Libraries. Click Application Support Folder, MetaTrader 5 or MetaQuotes Folder, Drive underscore C Folder, Program Files, MetaTrader 5 Folder, MQL 5 Folder, Files. Here you will find all the saved CSV documents named by the trading pair and date saved. Creating a shortcut to the CSV document folder is a convenient step. Simply right-click on the folder, select Make Alias, and then drag and drop the alias to your desktop for easy access.
This is the end of the tutorial for the Liquidity Finder. Please check out our blog post by clicking the link in the description. We encourage you to share your feedback and suggestions for improvements on our blog post. Please check out our other indicators by clicking the link in the blog post. We appreciate your interest and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel where we demonstrate our indicators working in live market conditions. Thank you.